All right. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you're based. Um, and uh, I'd like to warmly welcome you to this impact transfer pitch session. Um, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, thank you for your interest. Let me start with some information concerning accessibility. American Sign Language Interpretation is kindly provided by DevTalk, and you can see our sign language interpreter um, in, the, in, in, in the different videos. Um, and we are testing a new captioning system, uh, so we really hope that it will work as planned. Um, you, if you wish to activate the captioning subtitling, uh, you need to click on the on, on, on the menu, uh, there's a, an option to click and activate show subtitle. Um, so feel free to do that if you would like to benefit from the captioning service um, to avoid any connection issues and make it easier for all of you to view the speakers when they will be presenting. We suggest you turn off your, your video and we also allowed ourselves to mute everyone to avoid background noises but of course, we really encourage you to use the chat function to share who you are, to ask any questions, share comments, feedback throughout the session. So please uh, feel free to use the chat. You might want to start now and just introduce yourself, where are you from, and maybe what brings you to the session. For those who cannot see me, I'm a white male. I'm, I'm wearing a light blue shirt. Um, I have a a beard. Um, I'm in my 40s and, and my hair is turning gray. Um, my name is Loïc Van Kutsen. I work for Ashoka and I feel extremely honored to be chairing this pitch session today. I have the immense privilege of leading our impact transfer program with Zero Project, Nestle Foundation, Fondation Descubreme, and many other partners. Um, I would like to thank my dear colleagues, Sumita, who will be managing and monitoring the chat, uh, as well as Alexander, who is supporting with the technology. A couple of quick words on Ashoka, for those who might not know Ashoka, which is the organization I work for. Um, we are a leading global network of social entrepreneurs and change makers. So people who seek to solve societal problems with innovative and systemic solutions. Um, we select, we connect, and we provide them support. Um, it's a community of over 4,000 people in, in 80 different countries, many of which are part of the Zero Project community as well. And um, with several colleagues all over the world, including Alexander uh, and, and Georg and others, um, I co-lead a program called Impact Transfer, where we support the replication and transfer of proven social innovations and their impact in new geographies where they are requested by local stakeholders. So it's all about replicating what works rather than reinventing the wheel when it's possible. With the incredible support of Martin Nessel and the Essel Foundation, Fondation des Combremé, and many other partners all over the world, we help each year 10 innovations to clarify their replication strategy, to connect with partners, and to effectively pilot replication projects. You will soon be hearing five of our 10 impact transfer participants who will be presenting their solutions and presenting how you can benefit from these solutions, how you can replicate them, how you can adapt them. Before that, I would like to invite uh, dear friend Martin Esso, thanks to whom we are all here today, to share with you some welcome words. Thank you, Martin, for being with us. Yeah, uh, a big, big welcome to all of you. I'm so happy and proud and uh, feel honored that you all are with us. <clears throat> uh, uh, very warm welcome to the Zero First uh, Digital Zero Project Conference here in Vienna. Uh, I hope that you are hearing uh, me and uh, that uh, you see me. Uh, for all you uh, will not see me, I'm a white male in the late 50s, uh, gray hair, uh, proud husband, uh, father, and uh, I'm a, a grandfather 
uh, very shortly, uh, my, my daughter uh, um, uh, get a, a baby and I'm so proud of, of, of Antonia uh, to be with us. Yes, and um, uh, what we are doing today is that uh, thanks to uh, Ashoka, uh, uh, we together, uh, uh, as you, um, uh, some of you may recall, in 2017, I think it was, that we joined forces together with Ashoka. Uh, and uh, since then, that time, uh, Loic and his team is uh, supporting the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program, designs this program. And I'm so happy that so far, 41 uh, social innovators <clears throat> have passed the program. And I really hope that your amazing and fantastic innovations will uh, break, have a breakthrough and uh, you are really successful in spreading your ideas out of the world wherever it is necessary and uh, you are uh, really amazing uh, um, innovators. Thank you so much for joining us and for giving us the opportunity now uh, to enrich our Zero Project Conference with you. Thank you so much also to um, this Cooper Mayer Foundation joining the Zero Project Impact Transfer uh, Program uh, in 2019. It's a wonderful partnership. I will also express uh, my uh, thanks to all the mentors and all the scaling partners uh, to uh, be with you, and this is uh, really uh, amazing. Uh, in uh, the six months program, uh, you were supported by the mentors and trained so that uh, I hope that you are even stronger than uh, before, so that uh, it's more easier to you to uh, successfully transfer or replicate uh, to other regions. Uh, and uh, today I'm uh, really uh, thankful to be with you and uh, that we have many scaling partners. I will uh, name some of them uh, who have selected the process and the program like uh, Nippon Foundation, Access Israel, uh, Fonds Sociales Wien, CBM, Sightsavers, Light for the World, Vipro, Leonard Shasher, uh, GIZ, uh, and I uh, would deeply uh, like to thank all these partners for their commitment and uh, to replicate proven solutions. But also uh, my thanks, my sincere thanks to a number of uh, mentors offering their time and expertise and pro bono support on the Zero Project Impact Transfer Program. Uh, I'm also very thankful to my colleagues, Paula and Sumita, as well as Loic and Ashoka for uh, supporting and coordinating this uh, wonderful uh, work. Uh, we do not waste uh, our time and resources to reinventing the wheels. Uh, uh, let us all learn together from existing solutions and uh, explore explore how uh, we can adopt uh, and uh, adapt uh, these solutions in the next context. And this is the core of the values of the Zero Project um, community and the conference. I would like to congratulate to this year's impact transfer projects. And I'm so excited to hear your pitches and to see how we all can benefit from these uh, proven models. I wish you all the best. Keep calm, all uh, guys from uh, and the whole Zero Project family uh, will read your lips and will be very uh, interested in what you have done so far. And you are a real uh, change uh, maker and, uh, and break uh, uh, all the barriers. And thank you so much. Good luck. Uh, and I wish you all the best also to, with your calls and communication, uh, use uh, this opportunity. Uh, we have uh, three and a half thousand uh, attendees uh, at our conference. You can be, connect yourself 
through our uh, through our platform use these opportunities to so that you are not alone but we together can help you to implement your ideas thank you so much and good luck thank you dear martin for your inspiration your, your commitment and your loyal support um well yeah indeed as as martin mentioned uh, in this session five impact transfer program participants will be will be presenting five more participants will be presenting a bit later today in the second impact transfer session which is scheduled at 4 p.m vienna time so feel free to join us again then um, and they they have all been working very hard over the last five six months uh, to clarify their what they do their replications uh, strategy which type of partners they need and how you can adapt and adopt these solutions so i really hope you will find inspiration um, that you will um, perhaps be able to share contacts perhaps able to give feedback some of you might even be interested to implement these solutions in your local context some of you might be able to give them visibility and some others might be able to provide financing and funding you have different options to interact or offer support throughout our session today of course feel free to use the chat to post comments or ask questions you can start now and i see some of you have done so by sharing who you are where you're based it's always nice to see who's in the room um, that's the first option the chat the second option is an online support form so um, sumita will be posting the link to this form in the chat you can simply click on it and it leads to an online form where you can very easily add your name, your email address, your organization, and indicate in which projects you are interested. We will receive these forms and we'll forward them to the projects so that they can follow up after you um, based on your needs. Now, after these five presentations in this Zoom session, we will also offer you the opportunity to continue conversations more individually with these projects in breakout rooms. I will provide more information later on that, but those of you who would wish to continue these conversations, please stay within the call after the presentations and you can just join a private room, a breakout room with each project and continue the conversation. And of course, you can connect throughout the conference or even beyond uh, by email or others or through the conference platform chat. Great. Okay, so we have five projects from uh, different geographies who will be presenting. Um, I hope you're, you're all ready. I would like to welcome as our first speaker today, Ramesh Duraikanan, who's the program manager for College Connect at Youth for Jobs in India. Ramesh, the floor is yours, welcome. Thank you so much, Like. Hey, good afternoon, all of you. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today. On behalf of my CEO and Zero project, my sincere thanks to all. Let me start with the story of Anand. And this is Anand, he's an engineering graduate with 10 years of work experience in IT sector. He developed disability. He took away almost everything from him. He lost his job, his savings, and people around him. When we met him, he was desperate. He was jobless for almost three years with limited mobility and speech impaired. And we fast tracked his career and got him a job in Cap Gemini for a very good salary. He regained his confidence and independence. There are many such islands in India, a country with a population of 70 million people with disabilities. But the thing is, there's less than a percent are employed in organized sectors, and just about 8% of them are graduates. The problems are many and well known, like lack of disability understanding among the educators and employers, less education and enrollment in higher education of these people with disabilities, lack of access to many services, underemployment and unemployment of them, keeping them in the vicious cycle of po poverty. And what we are doing, we are breaking that cycle and putting them on the wheel of prosperity. Our solution to this problem is our innovative program called Smart Inclusion Center. 
in universities and colleges we empower students the educators and the employers and we empower the students through career counseling and uh, the need for higher education thereby increasing their enrollment in higher education institutes we empower the educators with the right knowledge the skills and technology to teach the students with disabilities and thereby improving the teaching and the learning process we connect the students and the employers through mentoring and training programs and also create more internships and jobs besides this we also work very closely with companies and give them a lot of customized support to ensure that these students or the candidates are efficient at the workplace and thereby it makes business sense for these companies to come back to us and recruit more such talents from us the results have been simply amazing hundred employers have already started hiring our candidates and we have secured nearly jobs for nearly 1000 youths and 21 universities of other universities and colleges have already tied up with us for this uh, innovative solution our efforts have resulted in increased enrollment by 10% increased employment by about 400% in the colleges that we operate increased career prospects and quality jobs it is not surprising to hear from the vice president of barclays bank kyc division balu kesavan balu saying working with us has created more jobs for candidates with disabilities and the correspondent of a deaf college just below that that you would see he says that the skills of the educators and students have been improved and resulted in more jobs of because of smart inclusion center and we want to replicate the success of this in other countries and with your support of course and we have kept the process very simple and it's a three steps process we train you for about 7 weeks we mentor you for a year and then we guide you to build a local network and enough support structure so that the program is implemented successfully what do we want for this we need people who can replicate our work or can support us you can replicate it if you are passionate about working in the livelihood of vulnerable at scale or if you have the capacity to forge right partnership with the local market and have funds or can raise funds for this project or track record of working in the skilling of the disabled or non disabled you can support us by helping us to develop or digitize the training modules or you can hire us for our include i mean for your inclusion journey and you can still reach us do contact us over the email address that is given here together let us get more and quality jobs for audience of the world and build a more inclusive world thank you so much thank you so much to you ramesh um so from the college connect project in youth for jobs in india beautiful speech thank you um we'll be transitioning now and traveling to egypt um and i'm happy to welcome amena el sai who's the ceo and the co-founder of helm in egypt welcome amena hello everyone uh it's lovely to be here thank you everyone for this opportunity okay so Uh, today I'll be presenting our workplace inclusive solutions. Um, it's our fourth year to be part of the Zero Project program, uh, and it's a lovely um, uh, opportunity to transfer what we're trying to do for employment around the world for persons with disabilities. Of course, we know that there are a lot of barriers in the workplace, uh, whether whether digital barriers, physical barriers, or social barriers. So the problem size that we're trying to tackle is huge. It's 63 million persons with disabilities in the Arab world. And as we are doing that in Egypt already, we're trying to empower uh, organizations and employers to hire and retain persons with disabilities effectively through understanding what kind of barriers do persons with disabilities face in the workplace, whether physical or digital, as well as what to do next to overcome these barriers. So we do two things the job analysis and the accessibility audits consulting. First of all, the job analysis. What we do is we provide a full-fledged solution for employers to understand what each job requires. 
workforce in order for the employer to hire the right fit. Not only that, but we assess what kind of competencies and accommodations that the job requires in order to be fully aware what kind of investment and changes they need to do. The other part is we do accessibility audits. We do physical workplace solutions. So we created a unique application that enables us to assess all the international standards. We do a scanning and analysis and then the visit, and then we provide a full report on what to change, what is correct, what would it cost them in the market to make these accommodations in the physical place. And eventually we provide support as they implement these changes. Of course, we also do the same with digital accessibility. So we support employers to understand what kind of technology resources they need, what is wrong and what is right in their systems in order to empower persons with disabilities to work in every single job. These are some examples on the screen. You will find that we actually have a lot of results with our employers and other organizations that implemented effective changes as per our consulting. So you will find an example of one of our bank partners, Alex Bank, who actually implemented changes in all their branches, as well as in metro stations where they implemented actual physical changes and they created uh, the needed requirements such as tactile blocks and audits in the, and changes in the bathrooms as well as other changes. We have helped more 1,000 assessments happen for buildings in Egypt across 20 governorates and across 10 sectors. So we have a great profile to be able to expand. On the screen, you will find Mahira Hassan, one of our dear partners who've worked with us for over five years on developing for Vodafone Egypt quite solid solutions to help them not only inside but outside Vodafone's scope to be better employers and a company that fosters an inclusive workplace. We also have great recommendations from Henkel amongst more than 200 employers that we've worked with in Egypt to support them on ensuring that their policies for employment is effective through our model. We are targeting the business to business model. So we are planning to expand, first of all, in the UAE, Jordan and KSA, but then we are looking forward to uh, expand across the region. So here's how you can partner with us. There are two ways to do it, whether as franchising and be part of HELM, and we were, we're going to provide all the training and support to do so. And then you're going, we're going to uh, support the organization to have a franchise in the relative countries. Or another option would be that we can become partners where we train and, and support the organization. And then we can pay a fee for our partners to provide our service. So we are looking for NGOs, DPOs, or any private company who wish to become a partner. We are also looking for financial investors as we are a, a very solid financial model that can be um, uh, cost effective as well as uh, support our partners. So thank you very much. And we are hoping for you to connect with us to support us to make more workplaces inclusive for everyone. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, great presentation and very impressive work you're doing there. Um, so just, a, yeah, can kind of reminder, we've heard two of the five presentations. Um, again, you can use the chat or the online support form to express any interest or support, suggest any ideas. Um, we're moving on and we will go back to India. Uh, I'd like to introduce Moses Chodari, who is the Program Director for Enable Vision and Enable Vani, um, and representing today Enable India. Moses, welcome. The floor is yours. Don't forget to unmute. You need to unmute first, Moses. You're still muted. Um, can we? There can you go. all hear me now? Yes. Namaste. Greetings to everyone. I work as a program director at Enable India. I'm a proud alumnus of Enable India and grown to be a leader. Uh, working on the mission of transforming visually impaired into active citizens and nation builders. In our 20 years of work at Enable India, 
we have accelerated opportunities for persons with vision impairment the average uh, salary of a visually impaired in an entry level computer based job is two times higher than the per capita income in india did you know that persons with vision impairment work across 27 sectors in cutting edge roles like network engineer mi executive firefighter auditor and more which conventionally require eyesight our solution educate yourself easily um, has played a significant role in creating that level playing field for persons with vision impairment in the open labor market as we all know light travels faster than sound persons with vision impairment work on the computers using screen reader that reads things on the screen sequentially but a sighted can actually see multiple things at the same time and has advantage so how do we enable persons with vision impairment to be truly competitive and productive at workforce the secret really lies in the world class methodology that we have created at enable india so how do we scale this uh, insights and reach out to hundreds thousands and millions of persons with vision impaired across the globe we need a solution that is easy to use accessible scalable reduces dependency on expert trainers and help the existing trainers to train more persons with vision impairment than they are doing today our i tool is that exact unique breakthrough innovation i tool is a software that helps visually impaired to learn computers and gain access to the digital pathways that eventually lead them to livelihoods um the true value of our i tool can be uh, understood with the example of cornelius Cornelius is a visually impaired and comes from small village in Meghalaya. Cornelius had no prior experience of uh, using technologies hence he needed a lot of practice in getting comfortable to work on computers. The i tool gave him that practice and saw he, every action of him on the computer and provided him with the instant feedback. Cornelius also has experienced uh, many jobs using the job simulations on the platform and learn techniques to prevent errors and manage um, you know if, you know maintain efficiency and quality today cornelius works with one of the well known email companies as a spam desk executive he works at lightning speed on the internet tools and he has just about 5 to 10 seconds in processing each email like cornelius they have 10000 users across 20 states in india and 14 countries have benefited from this tool without much marketing so we would like to scale this impact and empower 1 million persons with vision impairment across the globe in the next 5 years so how do we do this uh, our key strategic priority is to partner with countries where uh, digital empowerment and inclusion uh, of persons with disability is on their um, development agenda um, enable india will be the knowledge partner and we will provide access to software content uh, and most importantly the insights that we have gained over 20 years enable india will also train the local partners and trainers in providing that value stream of for visually impaired in growing them from being digitally literate to fluent and to um, you know getting mastery uh, so we need partners who could help us Uh, in localizing the solution and reach out to uh, persons with vision impairment in your local areas um, like in india we want to make this platform free of cost for persons with vision impairment um, the good news is in india we have a funder who is already committed to fund the development and the dissemination of the tool um, you know in india but uh, you know if you are a funder you still have an opportunity to fund this in your uh, in your country where you work um, in the conclusion i would like to uh, illustrate the impact that we would make when we replicate the solution through my own personal example 25 years ago i used to depend on my mother for the simplest thing like reading a newspaper but today i am digitally empowered i am a primary breadwinner of my family and and a proud taxpayer i invite all of you to join me and my team at enable india in transforming visually impaired into active citizens and nation builders you can reach me on my email id moses@enableindia.org thank you so much thank you moses beautiful very clear presentation really interesting indeed what you have 
managed to accomplish with your eye tool. Um, so if anyone's interested in, in that, please contact Moses and Enable India. Traveling a bit, uh, a bit outside India, we're, going, we're moving to Bangladesh and uh, we'll be welcoming uh, Sajida Khaman Dani, who is the founder and the chairman of the PFTA Vocational Training Center Trust. Welcome, Dani. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me share my presentation. Um, hello, everyone. Let me introduce you to Dolon Bishwas, a 27 years old person with uh, Down syndrome, hailing from the remote southern area of Bangladesh, had no capacity to work and were considered ill fated and cursed, leading to non acceptance in the society. He was neglected after his parents' death and considered a burden in his family. After picking up by PFDA, he received six months vocational training with psychosocial counseling and therapy. He is now employed and earning money to live a dignified life with respect and acceptance. Now he is planning to get married to have his own family. Dolon is not alone. Around 2.8 million persons with neuro disorders in Bangladesh are considered stigmatized, ill fated, and cursed. Up to 1 billion people, nearly one in six of the world's population, suffer from neurological disorders who are invisible in our society and without mainstream facilities. I am Sajida Rahman Dani founder chairman of PFDA Vocational Training Center. This center has brought light in the life of this marginalized population with autism, ADHD, Down syndrome, as well as intellectual disability, cerebral palsy, and other neurodevelopmental disorders. Our intervention is well-planned, holistic model to provide a conducive, long-lasting, and more accessible vocational training and employment facilities for the person with disabilities. For parents, we provide care for each other with family counseling, parent support network, and work as our delivering partner. And for employers and policymakers, we provide branding opportunity and social reform. This vocational training ranges from basic life skill to trade specific training based on individual capacity and interest. This includes 15 trades, including pastry and bakery, jewelry making, tailoring, block and tie dye clothes, mushroom production, graphic design. They are engaged in three types of employment, sheltered employment, wages employment, and self-employment. In last three years, 300 of them have already employed in retail chain shop, database company, restaurants, coffee shop, duty-free shop, hotels. Additionally, 2,980 persons with disabilities receive training and more than 9,000 parents receive counseling. We also facilitated enactment of the law to establish the rights of the person with disabilities in Bangladesh. We want to replicate our vocational training and employment support, family counseling, including parents network, using branching as a growth model and delivering partnership following affiliation model. Branching will support to replicate technical knowledge and quality human resources to ensure efficient implementation. And partnership will be done with the organization having similar goal and mission to skill transfer, modeling, and mentoring. In three years, we intend to target additional 35,000 people with neuro disorders and their families in seven cities of Bangladesh, in phase two in other South Asian or South African countries where there is demand. The type of partners we are looking forward is local implementers, local government, parents, and funders. To replicate in seven cities, uh, serving additional 35,000 people with neuro disorders and their families, we are seeking three million US dollars, which will cost only $91 per person for three years with, through grants, donation, and corporate sponsorship to ensure sustainability of the impact of our project. 
Bangladesh is standing beside you. Please join us to stand by the person with needle disorder so no one left behind. We are waiting for you at the chat room to discuss further. We'll be very happy to answer any queries. Please join us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Danny, and congratulations for the so important work and indeed holistic approach that you have there in, in Bangladesh. Um, shifting now to our fifth and last presentation for this session, we're coming, coming back to Austria, uh, and I'd like to welcome Katharina Schweiger from MyAbility. Katharina is the program lead for MyAbility Talent. The floor is yours, Katharina. need to unmute. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. <laughs> thank you and good afternoon. Let me introduce you to the My Ability Talent Program. My name is Katharina Schweiger. I'm working for My Ability, which is an Austrian social enterprise, a management consultancy with a business-oriented approach to the inclusion of people with disabilities. The social problem we are facing is people with disabilities have poorer chances of social participation, are many times more at risk of poverty than the average, and they are constantly discriminated by visible or invisible barriers and are much more affected by unemployment. And this applies to all levels of society, including academics with disabilities. At the same time, companies do not meet the statutory quota of people with disabilities and they are constantly look, looking for highly qualified employees. So what are we doing? We bring both together at the MyAbility Talent Program. And this is our solution. The MyAbility Talent Program is the first career program for companies and students and young academics with disabilities and chronic illnesses. And the participating talents, we call them when they enter the program, receive coaching as a preparation for their career entry and the opportunity to get in touch with interested companies through events. On the other hand, the program is an effective tool for companies to collect know-how in the field of inclusion and to employ more people with disabilities. So we create points of contact between people with and without disabilities at eye level. And our focus is always on the potentials, strengths and performance, not on the disabilities. The MyAbility Talent Program, we have two lines or branches. So we have on the one hand, the talent. On the other hand, we have the companies. So we welcome them. And then there are some workshops and coaching. We prepare the talents for self-presentation, application strategies, and awareness training for companies. And then they come together and meet the first time in the matching day. And after another workshop the company, um, with the companies, the talents have the opportunity to do a job shadowing with interested companies. So they get to know companies from the inside. They make valuable contacts and have the opportunity to present themselves to a company representative. And company representatives come into contact with people with disabilities and can learn from their expertise. And finally, there is a closing event. So that's the challenge program in a few words. Where are we today? We are working in three countries, the German speaking countries, Austria, Germany and Switzerland. We have had 206 students in 12 rounds and 89 companies. Where we want to go? We want to grow. I like the picture because we want our plants to get stronger and develop roots and we want to build stable relationships, network and collaborations. And how you can help us if you are in contact with students with disabilities or chronic illnesses, you can help us to address them when they are at the end of their studies or have just finished. So please announce a raffle. You can find my mail address, it's Katharina Schweiger at myability.org and you can write an email or leave your email in the chat and I will get in contact with you. If you want to do more, you can help, finding, help us finding partners 
multipliers, announcement of the program among students, community, important stakeholders, companies, and so on. And media attention is always helpful. An article in a newspaper, a magazine, a TV report, support with social media. And last but not least, everyone needs money. So financial support is always helpful, of course, uh, foundations or funding or other financial support. So let's help our young people, help the community and announce the program. So that's my presentation. Thank you for listening and please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katharina, from my ability here in Austria and in the German speaking region. Um, right, well, congratulations to all five presenters who uh, presented beautifully, but also remain to stay within, within the time. Uh, so much appreciated. Um, I hope you all found inspiration um, and perhaps ways to support and yourself benefit from these solutions. 